On Friday, May 16th and Saturday, May 17th, the Amgen Tour of California is returning to the city of Santa Clarita for the sixth time in Ray's history. And here to talk to us about that is Arts and Events Administrator Phil Lantis from the Arts and Events Division. Uh, Phil, we're getting the tour back. Yeah, we're really excited about it. It's a great honor to be uh, back six times out of nine years. And we are actually hosting our eighth and ninth stages, which is uh, great. It's, it's phenomenal. And for the first time ever in the history of the uh, Tour of California, there's a city, ours, hosting two starts, which is really great. Uh, we love starts. They're a great opportunity to meet the riders uh, up close and personal, where at the finishes you don't always get that. So we're really excited to be hosting two of them on uh, Friday, May 16th uh, in Old Town New Hall on Main Street, um, which is a new location for us in the tour, and that should be a great opportunity to showcase the wonderful work that's gone in New Hall. And then on Saturday, May 17th in, in uh, Valencia Town Center on Town Center Drive, which is we've utilized before and it works wonderfully for the start. So we encourage people to come out and check it out, meet the riders. They have to sign in before the race. So it's one of the rare opportunities where you can actually see the riders up close and personal, um, and uh, they're not being shuttled off to get loosened up after they finish. So uh, we're excited. It's going to be a great year of racing here in Santa Clarita. And we mentioned it's our sixth year hosting this event. Um, for those who are not aware of the Amgen Tour of California, it really is the world's top cyclists. These are Olympic uh, champions. Uh, these are world champions. These are also, uh, many of them compete in the Tour de France. Yeah, definitely. There's all these past champions, and the key is it's really America's biggest race. And in fact, that's the, the tagline they use because it's become the, the top race in America for the professional cyclists from all over the world. So you're really seeing the highest caliber of uh, performers, of riders, of cyclists, and uh, it, it's an amazing sport. If you've never encountered it before, the, the speeds these gentlemen get on their bikes is really phenomenal. And, and to see them, uh, many of them are, are, are short in stature, but they're just, they're pure muscle. They're pure uh, to be able to ride like 110 miles at, at top speeds. They're just the top conditioned athletes in the world. And they're some of the toughest athletes in the world, too. And you mentioned this is a stage race, so we will be holding, the city of Santa Clarita, I should say, we'll be holding the uh, sixth and seventh stage, and they will be traveling all the way uh, from Sacramento, all the way down the state. And on the first stage, or our first stage, which is uh, the Friday, where are they going to end? They're going to end up at Mountain High North, which is going to be a phenomenal finish for them, going up those hills. And it's uh, it's really the first time I think they've gotten from here to up to there. And then we're excited that they're they're going up there because that also means they're coming back into town after they're done with their, their finish up there, since there's obviously not the capacity to hold all the cyclists and teams up there. So they'll be back into town on Friday night, so they'll be good and ready to go on Saturday morning. And that uh, stage is also significant because it's uh, the second mountaintop finish of the race. And then on Saturday, uh, riders will race once again from Santa Clarita, as you mentioned, to Pasadena. Indeed, and that route has been done before, but at the other end, they're actually doing a different finish in Pasadena. They finished in the Rose Bowl previously, and this time they're going to finish near City Hall in downtown. So uh, a great route for them to get, to head out of the valley a little east of us and then go up and over the hills into to Pasadena. Um, it, it, there's some pretty tricky climbs in there as well, so it's really two days of great racing and great stages uh, for the riders to have to ride towards the end of the race because it finishes the next day in Thousand Oaks. One thing we mentioned, we do have two starts. This does bring a lot of money into town via uh, economic development and um, spreading money around to the local businesses. Definitely. There's not only the, the folks that travel with the tour, all the support and that sort of thing, but cycling is a huge sport in this world. And so many people will take time off, come in from Europe, come in from other parts of the country and even regionally and, and follow the tour from the start to the finish. And of course, when it's traveling through here that Friday night, that Thursday night before the first stage, uh, they're going to be here in town and they're going to be uh, excited to be here. So it's really a way to, to not only bring some economic dollars, but to bring some identity to Santa Clarita. It really highlights our healthy lifestyle, our, our, our tour, uh, trails, and the, the values we place on, on that sort of thing. We have a great cycling community here, and it really is an opportunity for uh, people all over the world to see uh, Santa Clarita and learn about us. And once again this year, the race will be carried on NBC Sports. Um, we do want to talk about, and we don't want to harp on this too much, but sometimes the race does come and it does cause some traffic uh, congestion, but I think uh, residents will be very happy to know that with these two states, starts, the traffic impact is very minimal. 
Yes, indeed. They travel in a very tight group at the start. In fact, usually the, the first about uh, five miles or so, a little less than that, um, they're actually not even officially racing yet. So they're real tight and compact. So what ends up happening is a, more like a rolling closure. Last year we had a finish and that, that impact, the, the riders are spread out by that point. So there's a, there's a larger window of traffic impacts. But both for Friday and Saturday, you'll, you'll have about 10 to 15 minutes wherever you're at at the very most and most of it will be less than that and then they'll be out of town heading east of us so traffic concerns are, are, are minimal there will be impacts but they're minimal compared to the finished stages and uh, hopefully uh, with them starting midday on Friday and Saturday there should be no major impacts to our community. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is May is definitely an excellent uh, month we're gonna do bike safety uh, month in May we will have the Wings for Life World Run in May on May 4th, but we also have a couple of ancillary events coming up for the Tour of California. We have Hit the Trail coming on May 10th, which is a community bike ride, and also viewing parties later on in the week. Correct, and uh, yeah, the Hit the Trail event's a wonderful event. We've done it in the past. Uh, it's gonna be at Bridgeport Park, and it's an opportunity for cyclists of all levels, including families, to come out to Bridgeport, ride a, a t either one of two courses, one that's not uh, about 10 miles, I think we're estimating, and the other one's a little under half that, um, it, on a wonderful trail system, so you're very protected and safe. And then we'll have uh, events at Bridgeport Park and a, a gathering, and it's really a way to kick off the Tour of California week. And and then on Wednesday, the uh, 14th, we'll be having a viewing party at the Salt Creek Grill. And there's an opportunity to see the racing that happened that day on TV and just gather with your, your fellow cycling enthusiasts and have a great time. We'll also have some giveaways there. So we really encourage people to come out. It's a great opportunity to get people excited about the tour coming to town. And you and I will both be there, of course, and we'll be giving away signed rider jerseys. The Amgen Tour of California Street Team is going to be out there with a lot of giveaways. Uh, Phil, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, if you're out there, really, there's a lot of great entertainment, a lot of great sporting events, world-class sporting events coming to Santa Clarita in May. Uh, for more information, including the dates of the Engine Tour of California, ancillary events, and the Wings for Life World Run, go to santa-clarita.com slash tour of CA.